Series Mountain all alone, the first to 1,000 points and the highest point scorer in women's sevens history. Congratulations, what a legend and what a moment for it. When I was younger, I was told that I was definitely too small to play rugby at any senior or international level. You know, there's, there's so many hard things in life and to tell a kid that they can or cannot do something, that's just more drive and, and more fuel in the fire. I already had a pretty good internal drive and, and motivation to to do what I wanted. And when people come down on that and they tell you that you can't do something, for me, that's that's just gasoline on a fire and it's, you know, it goes up in flames. Nobody I knew played rugby until my older sister got to high school. We played basketball, soccer, football, but never rugby. So this came as a bit of a, from left field. I remember going to her first game and it was in the pouring rain. <laughs> And I'm watching this game that I had never heard of before. I didn't understand the rules. And they're covered in mud, they're slipping and sliding. And I'm just saying to myself, who would want to play this game? Just Len's just going, whoa, I love this. <laughs> She's seven years younger than me, and uh, she was always the one beating up on me, not vice versa. So she's, uh, she's always had a little rough and tumble in her. Five, seven years later, just Len followed in my footsteps. We'd be here at 7 a.m. five days a week for practices and we usually changed <laughs> all our bags and we'd change under here. We didn't have a change room or we get changed in the equipment shed. Toughen us up at 7 a.m. I think part of, you know, part of the weather and being in Canada is you never know what you're going to get. And for us, it snows two feet back in Victoria and you're, you're training inside and it's, it's just about being adaptable. And, you know, you never know what you're going to get. It's one of those things in sevens that it's not never going to be a controllable thing. Um, so we're lucky in Canada we get to practice that a lot. <laughs> I was always successful at, at the junior levels. Um, I was fast, I was agile, and I could, you know, play really well at that level. And it was when I took the step to play in the senior program in Canada. They acknowledged that I was good, but they said I was too small for the senior program. Um, I had one coach tell me that it didn't look like I was trying. Um, I was going through the motions and I ended up training on my own for, it was about four years of being put on the non-traveling roster for the senior program and training on my own and doing all the programs and, and you know, skill work by myself. And at that point it's either you're doing it because you love it or because you have internal drive um, because you're not getting much external reward at all. Honestly, I never really thought of not making it. Um, I'm sure there was other people that thought, what's she doing and why is she still at this when she's not getting selected? But I liked the training, I liked the process, and I was still playing for other teams, you know, uh, club programs, provincial programs, university. Uh, so I was still playing rugby and, and I just knew that I loved the game and it gave me something that no other sport had, had given me. John was the first senior coach to believe in what I was capable of. For so long I was told no by the senior staff and when he came into the program it was fresh eyes and a new perspective and lucky for me the timing was, was good. I had put in a lot of years, you know, hard yards and that work paid off when he came into the program and really believed in me by selecting me. I've seen how far uh, Jiz has come in her, in her defensive game. Seeing a player grow from you know where they start to where they can get to, and then you start seeing them getting appreciated uh, for those skills, it gives me a lot of pride as if it was uh, my own growth. None of what I've accomplished would be possible without family and and their support. And you know, like. When I was a kid, my dad would drive me hours to, to practices. You know, my mom always showed me a confident and, and powerful woman, and there was not a moment in my childhood that I thought that I couldn't do something because I was a girl or couldn't do something because I was weak or small. And 
to have that support and to have people showing me that and guiding me that way. For me, it's not just representing yourself, but all the people that, you know, can't, um, or the people that are supporting you as well. That's a big one. <laughs> Learning who I am, I've never fit the mold as, as an athlete. I've never really fit the mold of, I think molds are overrated and I, I don't want to try and be someone that I'm not. Part of what makes it so special is, is believing in yourself and having that within you to, to push forward and to do it your own way because, you know, there's a million ways to do something, but there's only one way for you to do it that's really going to feel true and real to you. Um, I could have tried to play a different style and I could have worked on all the things that, you know, people said, this is never going to happen for you. And I could have believed that and let that define me. Or instead, I, I chose to, to go on despite and, and do it my way and work on obviously the things that I wasn't good at, but also excel at the things I was really good at because Without believing in yourself, I don't think I don't think it's going to happen. No matter how hard you try, I think young girls shouldn't want to do it because it's a masculine sport or a male-dominated sport, and they want to be part of that and they want to prove that they can do it. I think the ultimate thing is that they're doing it because that's what they want to do. I don't want it to be you're a female athlete. I don't want it to be you're a female rugby player. It should just be you're a rugby player and you're doing it because you love it and you're succeeding because you're really good at it, not, you know, not you're a woman and you're succeeding, it's just you're succeeding, you're a person and you're doing what you love.